Hi there and uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video I'm just going to explain you what are tiny uh, databases. So the main point of tiny databases is as their name stands for it they are tiny so it means that uh, you cannot make much uh, data within those. So in order to grab tiny databases in uh, App Inventor 2 you need to go here within storage and then you just take the tiny database and you just drag and drop it. As you can see uh, there are two different uh, kind of tiny database. One is uh, shared in the, on the web uh, so that's why it's the web database and one is a local one so it means it's just installed on your smartphone and cannot be accessed by anyone else. So it means that uh, what you ship here uh, is shipped whereas actually uh, over here even if you ship your app you can still modify the database online and still add some data. Um, what does it mean with tiny? It means that it's a column uh, database oriented so it means it has only one row and then several columns so it means that for one given column so let's say uh, the gender for example imagine that you are collecting gender such as male and female well it means that you can only collect the value either male or either female uh, you cannot have multiple rows for one given column so um Let's make uh, an exercise here. Uh, so we're going to collect one data and we're going to retrieve those uh, data. So uh, this is what we're going to do is that uh, we are going to add a button such as I did. Then I'm going to add um, I'm going to add the text box over here and so text box text box over here and I'm going to add the label. So the idea is to show you that um, thanks to the let's say things that I'm going to enter the, here I can retrieve those data in order to push uh, them back here thanks uh, to the database so let's get started I go here within blocks and what I want is I want to store one data when uh, something is entered within uh, this given box at least when a, a button is pushed so when I click this given button I want the text of this given box to be recorded within uh, the database. So here I go over here, I take the text box text, oops, text box text like this, and here I just click here on database. And here what I expect is when I click on the button, I want a value to be stored. The value to be stored is the following one. So this is the one of my text box. And I need to here indicate the tag so it corresponds to the column of the database. So I go over here. I'm just going to call it like name, okay, name. And uh, what I want next is if someone click on the button, I want the data to be stored here, but as well to retrieve this data in order to make it accessible as a label. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to say, okay, um, what's going to happen is that I want the label, so label text, set label text to, to what, oops, oops, like this, I want it to be in fact the um, the tag name to be retrieved which corresponds to this one which will be at the end the name that I answer and if it doesn't work I want to say okay I need more time need more time to think because probably as you can see I'm asking a bit too much to my app I'm asking it to think in kind of just milliseconds to uh, store data and to retrieve it just afterward. So uh, let's see if that configuration works. I'm going to go over here, I'm going to enter some some text over here. I'm going to enter just my name. So Ronan, Ronan, blah, 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 Ronan, Ronan, this and if I click on the button well as you can see the value is run why because the value has been retrieved over here thanks to the tag that I was showing here so here as you can see uh, tiny databases are really powerful because they do not require you much work or however the main issue that you're gonna face is as they are tiny well you cannot just enter one value per column so it means that if you want for example to record a lot of data about a given individual uh, then you need to have a tag which is name another one which is family name another one which is the zip code another one which is the email address and the big question is what you're going to do when you have a second person so probably it means that the first one need to have a tag which is name one and the second one will have a tag which is name two and so on and so forth which will make the system kind of hard to maintain on the long term 
or at least which really suit um, as its name stands for tiny databases so not much value to uh, collect about a given individual or given object i uh, hope you enjoyed this video and it helps you understand a little bit more about tiny databases thanks for watching